Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. I have no makeup on. I started to put on my eye primer and just realized I did not hit like record. So <laughs> I just have, I may have a little bit of high primer down there, but, and also some swatches to show you guys. But anyways, this is a get ready with me. Like we are going to do like a take it easy Valentine's Day look. I love doing these Valentine's Day look. Usually I go with like a very, colorful look but this time i don't know i just don't feel like going the colorful route i'm taking a very sexy for sure but very you know, neutral like colors are very like toned down this is the lux quad from pat mcgrath this is uh what's it called Inter interstellar icon this is the one the, in the blue packaging so these are the three colors we're going to use and the look i'm going to create today is not like the first time i created i loved it the first time i created and then I i'm just recreating the look today this is my nyx hd base this is like a moisturizing base i always start with a moisturizing base like a sticky base but the problem with sticky bases is and I don't have very very overly dry skin so the problem with sticky bases is they start creasing but also the advantage is that they really get cling on the, the shadows really cling on to them so I found a solution there are like several products like this out in the market the one I'm using is Makeup Forever's Aqua XL color paint I believe this is like almost sold out on Sephora's website and also Makeup Forever is like completely sold out I think but I like this this is like in the teal color you're wondering you're using this teal color for under this makeup look the thing is i use this just on the crease you you'd see how little i'm using that's how i think that goes to say how effective this product is i use very 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 little just there and i just spread it out just on the crease i tried using this all over the lid but i hate it when i use this all over the lid it does its job well meaning it dries down and it doesn't budge but it really dries out my entire lid look at that you don't even see the green color anymore it's like so that's how little you need but it still like dries and it sets and it does not budge and it doesn't move it's like it's awesome you don't have to use this exact base for like a uh crease proof eye look i'm sure there are several other products out on the market who like um that ca that are really as as amazing as this look at that it doesn't even move it's like really really good and then i just go about doing my makeup look and then i use this nyx pigment primer it says actually i have both i have pigment primer and and i have the glitter glue i think it's called honestly i just use either or I don't even know which one I'm reaching for. I I have both in my purse and I just like reach for. I just close my eyes and pick one, whichever comes out. And I feel both perform the same or at least nothing that I like notice. Like this is better, this is worse. So yeah, I'm going to start with this color. Let's see how that goes on my lids. So that is a little bit on the lighter side I feel right it's kind of on the lighter side but still it's okay there is like a very close color right next to it I'm using the Viseads Grande Pro Volume 1 palette this one so this is like a little light for me so I'm going to you go ahead and use this just on top of it just in the exact same place it's a little better I think it's a little better I think so we have new leaders right I know I'm like talking about this out of nowhere but usually my get ready with me's are usually have this kind of like a side talk and then now I'm going to use this right next with the darker one just uh, in my crease actually just like right there so that yeah like that so yeah we have new leaders and i feel i'm uh, i'm really really lucky because during the previous administration my kids were either newborns or toddlers right so i did not have to explain some of the horrible events and horrible violence 
and uh, everything basically a lot of horrible things that happened during the previous administration um, to my kids basically I didn't have to explain it to my kids you know the reason being um, the reason I was thinking about this in in this perspective is because um, my name actually the street where I live in um, my kids are like the youngest all the other kids actually there are a lot of kids in my street but all the other kids are like either in elementary middle or high school these are the only ones who have one is not even in kindergarten and one is just in kindergarten so these are the like the the babies in the street so during the previous administration they were still like actual babies so but my neighbor's daughter is actually was in elementary at that time and she was telling me how her teachers you know her her daughter's teachers had to like explain because the kids were panicking about there's someone really something really is going to ba bad happen to me i'm just using oh hang on i'm just using this uh shadow in the outer v that's basically what i'm doing it's a satin shade as you can see that burg the dark uh, shade you're seeing it in the outer v right there i'm looking up so they had to the teachers had to usually teachers don't really do this i don't know they don't really talk about politics at all to little kids but they had to like intervene and like give a little bit of counseling to the kids because they were so terrified and my neighbor was telling me how that some of the kids were really terrified they were really scared like what might happen what now whether they had a reason to be or not i i don't think that's actually that, that that's that's not the point right they were so scared and i'm so happy that i did not have to explain to my kids how like someone with such a horrible character trait actually wants something so hard right one a competition is basically like a race obviously it's, it's a race one this presidential race which is so incredibly hard how did this happen <laughs> i didn't I'm, i feel i'm lucky that i i don't have to explain that how people actually chose this person so this is what we have in the outer v it's very soft but you can see it's like it's like a purple color right it's a purple shade. I feel you can really blow this out because it's not that dark because it's not going to get like really like um, like muddy. And in the lower V, sorry, what am I saying? Lower V, the outer V, we already have this. Again, I'm saying <laughs> I'm using the wrong word. I'm trying to find the brush. Hang on, I have this teeny tiny brush from, what is this, Eco Tools. I'm just taking this and I feel I don't know if this would be dark enough for my lower lash line but let's try this is not dark enough to be honest but it's okay I'm just going to do this it doesn't have to be too too dramatic that was what we said when I started putting on makeup not dramatic I feel if you have like medium skin tone, this is going to show up because I have dark skin. It's not showing up that much. Well, maybe if you have medium skin tone, it's going to show up really, really well. Because a lot of times, you know, that's that's what we have been like learning since we were children. Like, be honest, be truthful. If you work hard, it's you're, you're going to reach your goal, right? So when something completely opposite happens, in such a big arena where the entire world, world is watching you are kind of proven wrong completely wrong and i feel i didn't have like people in my household questioning actual morals with that with which i pretty much everybody in this world actually is growing up in right these are basically the morals we're growing being like told as we're grown, growing up so that would have been very 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 difficult to explain it away right someone with such a horrible character trait and with a lot of proof to, i'm just using the glitter glue how did this happen right but i feel 
social media uh, kind of like points us in the direction of just the attention attention means success right that's how far social media goes um but i feel that's not where it stops and what you well like after people listen to you what they do with that information that's what is more important i feel that's what actually producers are obviously people like would were having positive vibes towards trump that's why he got to power that's another question i mean that not question that that's that's a whole another thing altogether i'm just applying this bronze shade guys in the outer v sorry inner v what am i saying inner v and the outer v i'm just putting it in fact you know what just put it all over the lid I feel that way it'll get more blended with the peach that we're going to put apply just in the center. Doesn't have to be like completely separate, right? Basically, I'm just applying it on my eyes. Like there is this video that I saw right after the results were announced and still like, no, like, uh, people with no brains were still contesting the election results but you know what i mean when the actual results were announced uh, this political commentator like he went on i oh my gosh he's actually very popular but i just don't know his name i know his face very well i just don't know his name even michelle obama actually that's how i saw that video michelle obama on, on instagram she like posted it on her um instagram page and that's how i actually saw that video oh oh my gosh i forgot to put glitter glue on this eye so anyways i just use my finger it went on well but not as well as on this eye right so she uh, so this this person basically said what i said just now like his kids obviously are grown up right so it was like so hard for him to explain to his kids how how such bad behavior was rewarded in this case but still do not use that as an example that's 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 just like but still why did this happen people are still gonna like younger people uh, are still gonna ask their parents or whomever they look up to for answers so yeah it's 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 an incredibly very I, I will link that video down below it was such a touching video i really really i really liked it i will link that video i'll try to find where it is and I'll link it down below it's such a good like it was so hard he said it was so hard for him to explain to his son his children now he's able to explain now he's able to tell that good i mean good attitude good um uh, intentions actually can win at the end so yeah i'm just going to use this peach shade and just put it in the center of the lid that's it just using my finger you can use a brush to look at that it looks very pretty in fact I feel I'm going to I'm going to like uh, kind of take the what's left in my finger and kind of take it up here so even when I'm like looking straight I still want that highlighted look you, you, you see what I mean even when I'm looking straight I still see that highlighted look I don't want to like actually swipe my finger in and actually put it there apply it over that in that spot i'm just taking whatever is left over in my finger and just putting it there just to give it like a very elongated highlighted look basically that's what i'm doing so let's do the same on the other lid speaking of um like a bad like well how do i word it like um socially socially wrong views i don't know how sometimes people understand the socially wrong views as a right side as as a right view i'm talking about let me stop beating around the bush i'm talking about amanda ensing <laughs> talking about her speaking of bad like uh toxic behavior being like uh, rewarded in social media by more followers 
you know like i said like uh, social media stops at that attention like people turning or basically following and clicking on stuff is just like turning your head towards something right and i feel social media stops there uh and that's what they define as success no but what do you do after that is also what really matters uh because um I think here for the tea uh, she said uh, recently on her Twitter I think that she does she she won't be like uh, gathering information or she won't be following uh, Amanda and sings um, you know like uh, her, her activities and what she's posting and she and she won't be like reposting it on her Instagram page because she doesn't want to give her attention and I thought um, just because she has a following doesn't mean she's sure people who are drawn towards toxic um views are gonna like turn towards her and no matter what we do those kind of s similar minded people are going to find themselves on social media no matter how uh, but i feel i don't know if you know this uh she i wouldn't i i don't want to say she supported and she was like all for it and she was cheering because I did not follow her as well. I'm 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 not like a um, you know like a gossip uh, account, a a drama channel. But the little that I saw, she kind of did not understand. I think initially what was happening in the during the Capitol riot, and she was supporting it for sure. She was supporting it, and I think after like realizing what was going on she kind of like shut her mouth or i don't know if she shut her mouth or not <laughs> i don't like i said i'm not following her so I, I shouldn't really like pass like tell what she exactly did because i don't know what she exactly said or did but she, i'm going to use this shade like i i have to bring in a pink guys i'm going to use this shade from and i'm like kind of all over the place today with my topics this is fleur fan fleur Fant fantasia I'm going to pick that up a little bit and just use this here just to bring out a little bit of a purple i don't know i just feel this look needs a little bit of purple just a little not a lot i don't know if you can see it yes and so that's when uh just like you know i, I don't know if people believe this or not um Personally, I feel uh, COVID was Trump's downfall. Uh, that's th that's that's when he he just could not recover from that. All the damages for for all the damages that he did, like those four years, this was what he could not, you know, recover from. He like I feel that was his downfall because COVID was literally attacking, wiping people off the earth randomly literally randomly like of course it had it was more like favoring like older people but other than that it was like completely random like nobody was like could be protected you know what i mean so i feel personally i feel covid is trump's downfall just like that i feel uh amanda and singh has been like uh, talking and yapping about nonsense and horrible things but this talking about and tweeting very intelligent hang on what do i say intelligently thinking as assuming that she's she's being intelligent she like started talking about it and i think that was really when like everyone was like what are you saying please shut up people were saying just shut up just keep quiet what are you saying do you even know what you're saying and all uh, and, and, and the more she spoke about it like more of this vomit this this nonsensical vomit came out like conspiracy theories and homophobic things like saying that only a man should marry a woman i i don't know what exactly she said but this is definitely one of the things she said like man is like marriage is meant to be like between a man and a woman saying these things really kind of like i don't know and then when i visited a page like there were so many like uh sorry guys i'm just trying to find a, a brush and i'm just focusing also on man dancing so this is the color i want to use as inner corner highlight so i found my brush she was saying a lot of nonsensical things and uh, companies like fenty beauty which stands for inclusivity was working with her and people really called her out and 
you know what I mean just like at like here for the tea gave her that attention but people what they did with that attention they kind of called out Fenty Beauty for actually working with her and then uh, Sephora, they called out Sephora for working with her and they all cut ties with her you know what I mean maybe a few years down the line they might go back to her we don't know because that's that's how it is <laughs> people forget people just like move on I'm just using this pencil to darken my lower lash line so maybe they might go back we don't know because people might move uh, followers change and everything but here for the tea said that she has gained like 60,000 new followers that's precisely why she won't be talking about her but I was like no so what if she gains followers so like sh she doesn't have the right kind of people following her so I don't know how beneficial it is for her during as an influencer you know what I mean as an influencer in the long run it's not going to be beneficial for her but anyways where did I start I like I started like talking and I've just been I've, I've gone in every possible direction I feel but you you see what I'm trying to like say I feel social media just stops at that attention grabbing uh thing that's 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 where it stops that's what is defined as success on social media but really it's not what people do with it after it after when people them when they call out and they i feel companies respond especially when something so horrible uh is being like uh su supported by amanda ensing like a, such a popular influencer you have to like do something at least like talk about it you know anyways i'm just using this mascara i think i'm kind of completing my look it's basically my look guys so i'm happy you know i'm i'm actually really proud that i'm part i know people say that beauty community is so toxic guys beauty community is so progressive beauty community called out kat von d beauty community call out anti-vaxxers beauty community call out amanda ensing and made uh fenty beauty aware of her uh you know I I ideology uh they made sephora aware of her ideology even if it's for a short term they made people aware you know what i mean i'm just using this on the other eye i'm just i'm not putting in my eyeliner because i want the eyeshadow to kind of like come through so I want that metallic aspect to be like really prominent. So I'm really happy. I don't obviously all kinds of communities on social media are toxic, but I feel the most this is one of the most progressive communities, I would say definitely. So we uh, people called her out to the point that we boycotted Kat Von D products. Sure, they after a point got kind of boring, but they boycotted it to the point that she left the company. That is like <laughs> that is a great achievement. And I'm not like there is no proof that we kind of like did that. But I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Definitely progressive. Definitely a community which. Um, you know supports lgbtq community i can't believe that amanda and singh is in a you know industry where people are um where she's not supportive of lgbtq community and and uh similarly her friend i don't remember she did like an urban decay collab um what is her name i don't remember she has also this hair color company people also call her out and then dominique cosmetics is uh, founder dominique christian dominique also spoke about uh, cutting ties with amanda and saying like i'm saying you know i think we are making changes slow slowly slowly of course 
So this is basically my eye look. I want to take a closer look at my eye to see if I need some cleaning to do. I think I want to like apply some brown eyeshadow in the lower lash line from the Viseart palette just to make everything kind of look like airbrushed. Just looking at it, just airbrushed. There is a little bit of glitter. I don't know if you can see. So I'm going to use this serum. I don't like to use, uh, what's that? Um, a wipe anywhere on my face. So I'm using the serum, just like a skincare serum, which is very lightweight from Olay. Uh, I'm just using it under here to remove the glitter, to be honest. That's pretty much what I do. And these serums do an incredible job or anything you want. You can even use moisturizer, serum, whatever you want to get rid of the glitter. It really, really does. And it also like forms like a sticky, like a base for your highlighters to stick. So that's basically it. I kind of clean my under eye and my cheeks also. And where is my highlighter? I wanted to do something low key. Like, so I got this Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in the shade Warm Honey. I'm using this as the highlighter. And let's see how it goes. So fan brush. Just picking it up because it's like, Not a lot, which is what I want. This is kind of the makeup look that you can just put it, apply it on your home and just sit at home and like watch TV and have like a date night at home, basically. <laughs> and for my blush, I got the Milani one. I've had my eye on this one for a while. Milani has come out with two new blushes, which I have not bought yet. I need to. This is Sunset Passioni. Very pretty. I'm going to use that a little bit on my cheeks. Hang on. I don't know if can you see a little. Actually, I can see it in person really well. So that's what we have and i think brows and after that oh after that we can also do lips brows i'm just going to use just like a brow gel tinted brow gel usually i would use like something to kind of like cover and like the bald spots you see the bald spots there but like i said it's a very very low-key business right Like there are so many rumors after a point, uh, people started speculating. They wanted to know who are the Trump supporters. Honestly, um, a lot of people started also commenting. Are you saying no to Amanda Ensing because she doesn't share your political views? First of all, do, shouldn't hide behind the word political views because her, her ideas and her opinions are not political. These are social uh, topics which affects the society, the common man. Political is like diplomacy and trying to negotiate. This is, these things are not negotiation. These are non. These are non-negotiable. Telling, uh, um, you know, gays shouldn't marry and telling like uh, your marriage is like not a. You know, it's not a real marriage. These are not there's no room for negotiation these are non-negotiable okay these are actual social things that evils that has to be eliminated these are not political views so people are kind of like confusing this with political views and saying or oh, you're saying no to man and saying because she just uh, supports a different politician trump is not a different politician he's like okay anyways <laughs> you know what it is you know what i mean so i think we are done and this is basically my look. So let's do, I actually have like a basket full of uh, Bite Beauty's lipstick. I bought them and I use them for sure. And I have kind of forgotten about them. 
so I wanted to do like an ombre look I've been wanting to do this where are you I picked out those two colors pastel no nonino I think it's called nonino hang on where are you glaze I picked it out and now I I can't find it oh wait I found it like I want to do like an ombre nonino that's what it looks like and this is uh, pavlova this is a color I've got so many compliments when whenever I wear it people say it looks awesome I'm going to take off my gloss because you know I was I am still obsessed with this gloss but I think it's time to move on <laughs> and try other things but it, yeah, this is what I wear all the time and I'm not like let's put new content on social media just putting it on like roughly is not like a very much of a lip liner away but you can definitely use this as a lip liner because there's this uh, sharpener at the bottom you can definitely sharpen it and use it as a lip liner and no no nino i'm just filling it in in the center so guys i've been going on and on i would love to know if you are even aware of what i'm talking about do you have any idea what amanda and sing has been doing and talking about on social media do you have any idea what i'm talking about this is kind of more pink than i would like it to be so i like the combination but it's more redder and more pinker and my look is more brown so i think i'm just going to go with a brown color <laughs> let's do a different one I have this glaze and let's try a brown one, right? I have like a glaze brown. This is like a darker brown. I'll just put the name down below. What's this? Midnight. I think this, this kind of suits my look, right? I think this this kind of like agrees with my eye look and then for the center glaze we have this color grays I think they're two uh, very the opposite sides of the spectrum that's okay I think I can manage I think I can manage yeah so that is a look that is a lipstick i guess i think that that kind of definitely matches with the eye look that i have going on at least a little bit because of the brown so i guess i like it yeah we'll stick with this look so this is my finished look you guys hope you guys understand and wait what hope you guys love like this tell me what you like about this look and tell me definitely comment down below on everything that i said in this video what do you think what are your thoughts? Are you aware of what I'm what I was talking about? If you have no idea, tell me whatever it is. Let's let's chat down below. And I think that is it. A very happy Valentine's Day. Uh, have fun with yourself. Have fun with your partner. Have fun with your friends. Whatever it is, stay safe. And yes, please wear a mask. <laughs> I will see you guys very soon. Bye bye.